Hey everybody, I just want to get on here really quick and talk about this super viral slap heard across the entire world. Yes, Will Smith smacked the crap out of Chris Rock. Everybody knows about it. I'm a little late on posting this, but that's okay. Um, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I found myself thinking about it and the conversations around it just prompted me to make a video. So... The way I saw it, if you would like to know my personal opinion, is I just saw it as Will Smith saw that his wife was being disrespected in front of a large audience. So he took it upon himself to disrespect Chris Rock in that moment. And... I'm not an expert on male communication, but the little that I do know is that men will get into altercations all the time with each other and walk away being best buddies. So I didn't see, personally, I didn't see anything wrong with what actually occurred. Did I think it was the correct setting? Absolutely not. But the fact that his hand made contact with his face, the second his being Chris Rock. And then Will Smith yelled at him, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. I mean, he was, a lot of people think it's staged. I, I'm like, I know Will Smith is a good actor. But I felt that. Like, I watched it and I sat there and I kind of cowered in front because he sounded angry and I've seen some of his stuff you know I mean who hasn't seen a Will Smith movie right but I've never seen that type of anguish and and venom come out of somebody who was just literally acting because th that's kind of hard to fake like I felt that and if and if he did fake it, if this whole thing was staged, then he deserves another Oscar because <laughs> that was a hell of a performance. I'm telling you, if, if that wasn't real, then he deserves an additional Oscar to that because that was, I felt that. I genuinely felt that. I feel, I'm, I'm kind of empathetic towards other people's feelings. So a lot of things make me, it like my dog can make me feel bad and you know, if I watch something on TV that's really sad, it makes me feel bad. Like, I'm very much filled with other people's emotions sometimes. So, when I heard him say that and hear him yelling at him, I was just like, yeah, don't. You should keep his wife's name out your effing mouth. Like, he's dead serious. And Will Smith, I think a lot of people are saying it's staged because... A lot of things that Will Smith has done in the past, he hasn't been taken very seriously, especially in the category of manhood, right? Um, the word simp is floated around for him. Um, they call him a, a beta and stuff like that. All the, all the manosphere terms that they want to apply to him. So he seems weak in terms of other men. And that's the way that a lot of people like to view him. And in that particular moment, he just couldn't, he couldn't deal with being weak in that moment. So the one thing I've noticed about the Smiths is that, particularly with Will and Jada, despite all the things that they have let the media and, and social media and with their Red Table Talk show and all the things that have come out about their family in the past, I've always felt like Will loves Jada very, very much. Like, despite all the troubles we perceive them to have or all the troubles that they do have and that they don't show about, I think that he still very much so loves his wife and that he was very serious when he went to defend his wife's honor. So, this is my first video I didn't want this to be my first video, but I had to talk about this. And 
one of the things that I noticed was that people were talking about, oh, it's just a joke and he overreacted. And you can say that if you want to. Um, I know he issued out an apology and even at that, at the event of the Oscars, he's apologized to the Academy or whatever the people are who run the Oscars. And he, he apologized for his, his reaction, but at the same token, I personally have dealt with a variation of alopecia myself. And I have another video talking about that. But I've had alopecia areta, which happens due to stress. And so I've had a whole big patch of hair missing from my head. And I have locks, so I feel like it's very noticeable when hair is missing. It's not just a little piece here and there. It's it, it was it was probably like a good chunk of hair missing from my head. And it was getting to the point where it was really hard for me to cover it up. And I felt devastated about it. So I can't imagine being in that place where women's beauty is very heavily scrutinized. I mean, she she lives in the public eye. She's a celebrity. So is her husband. And then on top of that, black women's hair has been heavily scrutinized throughout the years. So that's double fold for us. And and for somebody to get on a public platform and poke fun at a, probably a very soft, squishy spot for her. And, and then be saying that, oh, it was just a joke. And number one, that joke was in very poor taste. And it wasn't even funny. Like, it wasn't even funny wasn't funny at all and I've, I've seen some uh, um Chris Rock's old stand-up and he he is funny but that wasn't funny at all like it wasn't even a little bit funny so being somebody who's dealt with alopecia I have a friend who has alopecia as well and knowing that type of hurt that I felt in that kind of dig at your beauty and and all that stuff and just have it up on display at a public platform and and just think that it's supposed to just fly by and be okay. I'm like it wasn't okay. And although people think he overreacted and they was like, "Oh, violence isn't the answer." And it was mostly women saying stuff like that. Um I've heard other accounts from different celebrity men who are either offending are not offending, but defending Will's actions or they're saying that they would have defended themselves in that moment or even after the fact that's on site. And I was like, but that's just the way how men communicate and how men do things. And I was like, well, yeah, if you had a problem, like if y'all didn't have a relationship prior to this, yeah, it probably would have been on site, you know, next time. Y'all would have just been fighting at the Oscars. They would have cut, <laughs> cut the feed Play some um some music and said that they had technical difficulties, but that wasn't the case. So he smooth slapped him like a whole female dog, and Chris Rock just stood there and took it. He didn't try to defend himself. He didn't try to um ask him why did he do it or anything like that. So that's why I just took it as it was a public altercation at a work event like it wasn't okay I've I've I work in a professional setting myself and I've heard stories I haven't been in the room when this has happened but I work in a mostly male dominated field and I've heard stories where there are men who literally will get in an argument in a in a meeting in front of other people. I've heard other men tell men in a meeting to shut the F up. <laughs> like all that other stuff or cut the BS or, you know, I've literally heard F-bombs fly in meetings 
with men. So I'm like, they communicate very differently than women do. And I feel like as a creative, like an actor or a comedian, that you kind of have more license to, to be a little bit more unprofessional. But, and of course, if this was a regular office and somebody got smacked like Chris, Chris Rock did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep thinking about the jokes. I was like, cause that's what I see for mostly men. They're making jokes. They're like, they're, they're, they're making everybody hates Chris references and, and, um, <laughs> and they're making references to his show so much. And I'm just like, yeah, he slapped taste out of his mouth. Like, yeah, that was a full on slap. I was like, if that wasn't real, that slap was real. So they both issued out apologies at this point. And my thing is that men communicate very differently with men. So, and even on a boyhood level, little boys can get into tussles with each other and they can greet each other with a punch on the arm they can do all this stuff I mean that was even a joke a running joke on how how I met your mother where they would slap the crap out of each other and it was like when you least expect it they would just slap the spit out of each other's mouth and I'm just like and that's the way I I guess I registered it in my mind like they just slap the crap but I'm like that's how men <laughs> do stuff with each other they they do little you know they do all kinds of stupid stuff and that is seem as violent to other people but i'm like if that's the way they communicate then i who am i to say something about it right so despite what people think will did what he felt like he needed to do in the moment to protect his wife. Would I have wanted my husband to personally do something like that? Probably not. I think the yelling, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth would have been enough for me. <laughs> that would have been enough for me. Because he sounded very serious when he said that. So my husband, I, I mean, that would have been just enough for me. For him to say, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. And Chris Rock rolled over like my little dog and and said, I'm going to. I'm going to. Like he pretty much cowered. Not coward, coward, but he, he backed off completely. But I'm like, some people, they need the slap. They need to be slapped like that to get a message. And I felt like maybe that's the relationship they have had with each other. Now I've heard things like, Chris Rock has said things about Jada in the past and it was probably just one of those things like he keeps disrespecting her and Will was not just going to stand for it anymore. But I'm not sure. I don't keep up with celebrities enough to know exactly if that was the case or whatever has been said. But as a woman who has personally been through and recovered from alopecia at least one form of it I can tell you this it's not it's not funny if somebody would have made any kind of joke about my condition when I was going through it I would have I would have probably been in tears <laughs> because I was very very self-conscious about that and when I release my other video, I will show you exactly where it was and, and all that other stuff. And I'll probably even post a picture, but it, it's not funny. And especially being one of the more marginalized women or the most marginalized women. And your beauty is constantly attacked or scrutinized or looked over with a fine tooth comb. It's like, it can't be funny. Even little, little bit, like little digs like that, that's not funny. Like find something else. Like she was really, literally just sitting there minding her business. Please pick on somebody else. She didn't come here for
for any of that. So why he thought it was appropriate to even make a joke like that, I don't know. It was weird in the beginning to begin with. You can't say, I love you, but I can't wait for G.I. Jane 2 to come out. I was like, that's such a weird joke. Like, it's not even funny. I'm like, he says it was a G.I. Jane joke. I'm like, yeah, and it still wasn't. Like, I have to go back to the 80s for this joke to even be relevant. Like, come on, dude. You can do better than that, Chris. So, that's the way I, I um, saw the situation. For anybody, I mean, I guess you can dig more into it if you want to. I don't think Will is mentally ill. I don't think he has any mental health problems. I don't think this is something that calls for more digging. I just think, like... Have y'all ever seen men tussle? Guys get in bar fights all the time. I mean, I know alcohol wasn't involved in this, but I'm just saying there, there's times where men just get into it. And the next day, the next week, they're buddy, buddy. They're hanging out with each other. They're at each other's house and they're playing basketball or they're at each other's barbecue. Like they don't care. So I think everybody's reading too much in this situation. I think the most we can read out of it, like it was appropriate, inappropriate for the setting. That's it. Um, that's that's my only takeaway from it is that it was inappropriate from the setting. I'm glad Will Smith feels very passionate about his wife and his family that he feels like he needs to defend their honor. And maybe it was an ego thing for him to... He said in the past that, you know, he's felt weak. He's felt like he's not man enough or like a man's man or anything like that. So I can kind of understand it could have been more for his ego. It could have been something he had to prove to his wife. I don't know. But he felt her energy shift. And he had to take care of it. So I commend him for that. I'm gonna be honest. I I just don't think it was like the right place to do it in front of everybody. But I think in that moment, he was like, you publicly humiliated my wife. I will publicly humiliate you. Open hand to your face in front of all these people. And hit you like a female dog and walk away like you know what you did so it is what it is but i'm sure there will be more content on the internet for a very long time this like i said it's the smack that was heard around the world um, people are making too much of a deal out of it. I just simply think it was just two men communicating in the way that they communicate. I mean, when my dog communicates with other dogs, I don't quite understand it either because I'm not going to go around and sniff another person's butt and I'm not going to sniff their face and I'm not going to bark loudly in somebody's face either. But that's how dogs communicate and... You have to know there's nothing wrong with it. That's just how they communicate. So that's pretty much the way I, I see it. Like, I see it happening. I don't know why it happens, but it does. So, life goes on. And this will probably be a meme forever. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about it, but it did look like it hurt really bad. I shouldn't laugh about it. I need to grow up, I guess, but <laughs> it was just, like I said, I just saw it as just like a childhood, but you shove somebody, they fall down and you'd be like, oh man, after the fact, you're like, oh man, maybe I shouldn't have pushed them so hard. Let me help them up. That's the, that's exactly the way I saw it. So I hope most men feel that passionate about their wives or girlfriends fiancés what have you I, I really hope you have that amount of passion for your significant other that's all I gotta say 
I'm glad you were able to listen. I'll be releasing more content. Um, thanks for watching. And I, this will probably be the only video I do on, on this. Um, I don't plan on covering much celebrity content. It's more about mindset and, and thinking positive and just improving our interactions and making our lives better, life styling. So, uh, I probably won't do too much celebrity content, but this one had to be talked about. Everybody's talking about it, and I, I just think people are reading too much in this situation. I'm just like, it was two men communicating physically. <laughs> That was all I figured it was about. I was like, dang, that hurt. Like, I felt it on my face. I didn't even watch the Oscars live. I don't watch award shows. So I'm just like, oh, I felt it right here. The stinging sensation. Man, I hope he's all right. I mean, he was all right. He just kind of was like, wow, Will Smith back the crap out of me. The greatest moment in television history. <laughs> like, he just kept it moving because... It wasn't as big of a deal as everybody perceived it to be. That's the way I took it. Will Smith was angry. Chris Rock knew he'd crossed the line. And it was very well communicated by Will Smith's hand to Chris Rock's face. And life went on. They issued apologies because of the reaction of the public. But, you know, there's all kinds of jokes going around. Like, glad it wasn't Alec Baldwin's wife kind of thing. So... I, I just think people read too much into this stuff. Move on with your lives. Find something better else to do. But that's my take on it. I will see you in the next video. Where we can talk about the good stuff. That really can change our lives. Alright. Thanks guys. Bye.